rest of the next several days. Now, this is going to be an interesting experiment right here. This is our what we call the Steadicam or Steadicam. Okay, cool. Thanks to the News Channel 3 uh, production staff for getting this set up. What we're going to do is kind of demonstrate a little bit more about the filters that you can choose to use on stuff like this. Now, there are people who are saying, well, all I have to do are wear something like this. Yes, you're going to look cool, but unfortunately, these cut out glare. They do not cut out all the light of the sun. Now, if we can take a look, I'm going to tilt this up into the lights of the studio. Now, watch what happens as I cover over this. Yes, they need to be cleaned, I know, but in the meantime, you can see that they kind of cut down the glare, but not by much. Now, you're going to need something a lot stronger. Welding glass also cuts down on the amount of light, but this is welding glass number five. It still lets in far too much light to uh, protect your eyes just to be on the safe side. Now, again, what you really need to be using and what my okay. co-anchor here has to take a look at and thanking our director, Melissa Joseph, for letting me borrow hers because mine, unfortunately, didn't quite make it. You can see now that blocks out even the brightest light of the lights in the studio. This is what you want to be wearing tomorrow or welder's glass number 14. This is going to be exceptionally important out here. Some people have also said that you want to be wearing two or three pairs of sunglasses also not going to do the same thing as one pair of eclipse glasses. This right. right here, this is exceptionally important when you're dealing with protecting your eyes. Yeah, it really does block a lot out, and it's a good demonstration there to kind of show people. And we've been getting a lot of questions about these glasses on our Facebook page. Somebody asked, do you need to wear the glasses if you're watching the eclipse on TV? No, you don't need to do <laughs> that. But if you're, if you're looking at the sun, yes, you do. Yes. If you're walking around, just, you know, normal stuff, take them off yeah. and then help yourself navigate here. But again, you need the eclipse glasses. Not those. Not these. Okay, yeah. thanks, Austin. We'll be right back.